Welcome on in everybody. And this is a special tarot reading for the full moon in Gemini. And I'm going to open this up by clearing the space. If I can get this thing to light, wow. <laughs> okay, and so while we're clearing the space, let me remind you that I already put out the astrology and if you missed it, I will have it at the end of this reading so that you can click on through to that video. And in that video, I not only talk about how the energies are impacting all of us collectively, relationally, um, the world at large in terms of resources, but there's also some pretty nice views in there uh, for this new location that I'm at. So if you want to have something pretty to look at, <laughs> some nice scenery, then definitely check it out. So I'm not sure why I'm having trouble getting this to light. Kind of sad because I bought this candle locally while I was out in Austin and it's made from beeswax. And it's uh, handcrafted, but yeah, apparently something went wrong. So I might go out during the reading, um, but we just need to have enough fire to get this area cleared. And there might be some kind of message to this, okay? Are you having trouble right now getting fired up about some things has somebody put your fire out right um, this is a lot of emotional energy that we are in the midst of right now and oof. and also air energy when we're talking about Gemini so we're gonna get into emotions that have maybe been smoldered <laughs> that are just kind of simmering under the surface of things. We're gonna talk about that in this reading. We are going to, um, we're going to discuss things that maybe need to be processed a bit more with all this Gemini air energy. And I'm going to close out with a message from Spirit I will pull from the Oracle card deck called Postcards from Spirit, which I don't use a whole lot, okay? Um, but yeah, for some reason, I'm really having trouble getting this to light, and I don't know if there is some kind of symbolic meaning to that. Spirit, thank you for your messages. Thank you for your messages today been having trouble finding lighters lately too, lighters that work. I, again, synchronicities, oddities going on right now. And we are shifting into uh, more um, earth energy as the month progresses. So um, hopefully, you know, if you're, if you're needing a little bit of fire in your life, Hang on, we got a little bit more to go, right? But I think uh, the, as we get more and more into um, the new year, uh, we're gonna feel that electricity come in with all the Aquarius energy. Uh, but between now and then, fire might be a miss right now is, is really what I'm, I'm getting to share with you um, as to the meaning of that. Damn shame, you know, I wanted to get that candle working, but I don't know if it's gonna cooperate. I'm gonna give it one last ditch effort and if not, then we're just gonna roll with it. Yeah, we're gonna roll with it. So there's some things I think that um, you're wanting, you're having to roll with right now and um, I am going to try to speak to that and get some answers. I know a lot of us are dealing with a very reflective energy, very, much reconsidering what has gone on over the last year. I talked about that in the astrology portion, but we're actually going to pull cards. We're going to get into uh, what this means more accurately, um, 
given your astrology as well so make sure that you are watching not just your sun sign but especially your rising sign will be relevant when i start talking about the um the astrology for example i'm a taurus rising so i'll watch the taurus and i'll watch for my aquarius sun and my pisces moon right um but of course the most accurate is looking at your chart and where gemini is in the new in this full moon is showing up in your natal chart okay and if you don't know how to do that of course you can come to me for a private reading links are down below and by the way i am running a special on etsy right now you can get a year ahead reading for less than a hundred dollars it is a steal of a deal limited time offer and there are payment plans if you're saying i can't even afford that right now hey you could do it for as little as 24 dollars to get the ball rolling and it's like a one hour reading where i get into your unique astrology and we pull cards just for you for every month of the new year so with that said let's get on to these readings all right cancer thank you for joining and let's get into your reading this full moon in gemini is impacting your 12th house of spirituality very piscean all things pisces right and so this is about you doing a little bit of r and r it could be spiritually it could be emotionally it could be physically all the above and you really um, maybe even paying attention to these divine downloads that are coming through dream activity or visions okay um and using those divine downloads to direct you forward towards your goals okay so right now it could be a time when with mars there you're wanting to kind of get forward movement in your life but in the 12th house feeling blocked feeling frustrated and stuck because you're not able to quite get the forward movement that you want and it might be spirit's way of saying hey now is the time for you to put your efforts on self-care and healing any kind of undercurrents of, of emotions that have been unresolved that have caused you to sabotage yourself that have brought about sabotage from others maybe unhealed hurts like resentment um also just you know working on physically healing that tension within your body that is coming from a place of tension within your mind your spirit your soul and by doing that you get very clear on how to progress and move forward once mars gets out of this 12th house placement by the way I went through that one time uh, mars was in my 12th house for like five months brutal brutal <laughs> usually mars doesn't stay in the house for like that long maybe it's just like a month and a half okay but um it, it was in retrograde and it just was stuck 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 for me all right and i it was so frustrating so if you're trying to get movement forward movement on something just Try to be present with what spirit is asking you to take action on at this point in time. It might not be your cup of tea, but there's a time and a season for everything, you know. Surrender to it is really what I'm seeing the advice is. All right, let's see what the cards say. And my gosh, I am just shocked at how many signs are getting this. Um, Eight of Cups, okay? Some of you are just, um, because of the collective energy, which I talk about in my astrology um, video that I put out yesterday, um, and I'll have it linked at the end in case you missed it, but um, we're intellectualizing our emotions with, you know, this lunar energy in the air sign of Gemini, and maybe not fully connecting and, and, and processing and purging these emotions, but just emo emotionally 
disconnecting and I am seeing a holding back as well. Um, and, and then maybe it's because there's a part of you wants to go on to something bigger and better in life. Uh, but again, there's some kind of restraint or hold back. Either you're holding yourself back or, or others or circumstances holding you back. And you want to get to this happy place, but um, I don't know if you're fully present with what is. Um, you're just kind of more concerned about getting on to next, right? And I think that's the case for a lot of people right now. Your beliefs are, uh, you know, king of wands. Could be a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries is relevant. Um, but this is a pretty bold, confident energy. Um, like almost, I'm getting this, like you wanting to charge ahead on something. Okay. But again, if you are dealing with feeling blocked in with that Mars in the 12th house, sweet Jesus, you know, you're raring to go. And unfortunately the floodgates are not open just yet. Okay. Some of you wanting to take a leading role in your life. You really wanting to overcome challenges in your life. You step up, step out. You're really wanting to hit the ground running. But the facts are that there's some kind of reevaluation that needs to occur, okay? A, a decision to maybe give something a second chance or not, okay? You, this is also looking back at the past and re-examining is this do i want to give this another go or do i want to come at this from another angle and again maybe the resistance or the pushback or the block that you're getting in your forward movement is giving you cause good cause for pause and spirit is saying hey we need you to think about this are you going to give this a second chance or are you going to you know walk away from it uh, really reassess the situation here with a judgment card. Um, take the time to figure out, are you going to let this go or not? Um, there could be some kind of wake up call again, very spiritual major arcana along with the 12th house where spirit is maybe trying to get you to wake up and see something because you're kind of wanting to go off on your own is what I'm seeing right here. Um, in your own power and your own might and spirits like, Oh no, you need to take a look at this over here about what went down in the past. Uh, maybe how you sabotage yourself, how maybe others acted as hidden enemies and sabotaged you. I, I need you to feel the tension, feel the resentment. Where is it coming from? Heal it before you just go full steam ahead into this, all right? Either you need to like not go after this, go after something different, or you need to go at this from a different angle than what you had previously done. The source of confusion for you seems to be with material happiness. And right, I saw that at the beginning. Look, eight to the nine, you're trying to move on. You you just like, can we get on to next? Can we get to my happy place? Can we get to my wish fulfillment? The problem is that might be why you're on pause because Farrah is like, hey, look at this. Um, maybe what you think makes you happy, uh, maybe you're not so clear about that. I just heard something wishy-washy, okay? something might be a bit wishy-washy what you think is gonna make you happy is not really gonna make you happy and spirits trying to get you to look back at this over here um, yeah I'll, I'll clarify that I'm gonna clarify that in a moment the truth is that or the clarity that you need to get is about maybe your options, okay? You need to see very clearly uh, what kind of changes you need to make um, and maybe negotiating something different, negotiating for something different, 
um, or trying to bring some kind of balance into your life. I don't know if what you consider happiness is actually not a very balanced view. I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to see. Um, thoughts. You're thinking right now, King of Swords, it looks like you're being really clear-headed, all right? Very logical, it seems, in your head. Um, but the feelings are being held back, okay? Eight of Swords is, is just almost like this, um, not really opening up because you feel like you can't at this time. Um, there could be a feeling of, I need to keep to myself right now. Um, I need to restrict myself right now. This is something that I have to do. Now is not the time for me to open up about these things. Um, there could also be a feeling of victimization, okay? And I'm going back to the 12th house, but this is self-imposed, all right? So are you reflecting on um, this feeling of self-imposed uh, restrictions, uh, self-imposed victimization, I'm seeing here, wow. There's a lot of feelings, a lot of feelings that are being held back. I think sudden something suddenly popped up on you and caused you to withdraw and made you reflect on something maybe from your past that you've been longing for, okay? And I think that you're trying to overcome some kind of feeling of being discouraged, of um, being derailed, de de deter deterred. Is that the word deterred? I don't know why I feel weird saying that. Deterred. Um, some of you are coping with uh, some depression through this longing in your quiet alone time, you reflect back on this person or this situation to self-soothe. To, uh, some of you are reflecting on a situation from the past that discouraged you and left you a bit, I, I hate to say empty, numb, might have been a feeling, okay? I see a lot of isolation here. I'm very sorry. I don't know if this is like, if this is not resonating for you, check your rising and moon. Most definitely your rising, okay? This might have to do with a feminine main female energy, okay? So if you're a cancer female, that's you. Um, if you're a cancer male, it might have to do with a feminine energy. It might be the feminine energy in your life, but I'm kind of, I really pulled it about you. I'm getting a lot of withdrawal. What needs to be, what needs to change that you need to see clearly? What clear changes need to be made and negotiated? Something about negotiations, okay, is what I'm getting there. This possibly has to do with um, your line of work and getting respect for your hard work. Um, somebody needs to get clear about how to go about negotiating more recognition for their hard work, um, or they're going through changes so that with their occupation, their line of work so that they can be respected for their hard work. Um, that's, you've got to get clear on how you're going to go about doing that, okay? What is this that you're not clear about with a happiness? What's going to make cancer happy? What's going to make cancer <laughs> Wow, what a message. Um, some of you, it is about um, helping somebody less fortunate than you. 
partnering with someone who is less fortunate than you. Some of you actually, um, I don't know, this is a crazy message. Okay. Um, dating somebody who has gone through some kind of misfortune. There is a lack of clarity about there might be a feeling, if you are single and dating, a feeling of, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be happy with this person because they've gone through some losses and misfortune. They might actually have money problems. Or if you're having money problems, I can't, you know, it can be this lack of clarity of, you know, I'm not in a financial position to really date right now. I need to get my finances in order and you think that money is going to make you happy or it's going to fix everything in your life or that partnering with somebody who is not having money pro and again it's like oh am i really saying that yeah i'm really saying that um because i think generally we we want everybody to have their money in order uh to avoid codependency right um, but in this day and age, so many people with the economy are dealing with a lack, loss, and if it's not on a financial level, it's on relational level, emotional level, because of this epidemic of loneliness. Um, a lot of people have lost their, their livelihoods, they've lost their lives, they've lost their jobs, they've lost their health because of the last two years. Um, but yeah, some of you are just, this might be a legal, a legal tie. Somebody's going through some legal issues that have put them in, and I don't know, uh, you, you're not clear about, you think that your way, your pathway to happiness is to avoid people who have problems, okay? And, well... That's a pipe dream, is it not? We all have problems. <laughs> Welcome to the matrix. What is it that cancer needs to reassess, reevaluate? Just tell me more about this judgment card. Yeah, I got a lot there. This might have to do with a love offer, a love prospect, and the investment that you're making in a career. Um, possibly having to do with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Again, somebody who comes in really substantial, offering a lot of stability and security. Somebody who maybe um, presents as, you know, somebody you could build an empire with, like a power couple, a wife who comes in with assets, with um, resources, okay? Um, wanting to put a love offer out to somebody that is a good monetary investment i'm getting honestly i'm getting a lot of gold digger vibes off this i i hate it okay i i somebody needs to rethink that okay because what they think is going to make them happy and avoiding people who don't have problems and seem to have their money in order uh no what you need to get clear on is how to negotiate more honor and respect for your hard work that you do rather than trying to seek partners that are going to stabilize you or add to you materially or and, and avoid partners who you perceive will not because of their own private struggles that they're going on right now. That's, that's, that's a wild, wild message, sorry to say. Um, Let's see what's at the foundation. Devil card. Wow. That's a doing it for the money. This is somebody staying in a toxic marriage um, for the money. Working for the, the toxic boss for the money. Um, you know, living at a place with a to uh, toxic landlord, toxic roommates, because I just, I, this is what I got to do. And, um, you know, maybe, maybe you got out of the marriage and you're still tied to that partner uh, because of, you know, the divorce settlement, kids, property, uh, legal ties, whatever. So you're still there and you're trying to move on from it. But again, your way of moving on from it, I, 
think is not really healthy, I'm sorry to say, okay? Surrender comparisons with other people is what you're being asked to release at this time. Keep your eyes trained on yourself. Focus on your own strengths, attractiveness, and power, right? It goes back to this. You focus on how to negotiate better for yourself with your earnings in the workplace, with your money, okay? With your options, with your resources. But when it comes to matters of the heart and what's really going to make you happy, um, money is not going to make you happy is really what I'm getting out of this. Surrender inner peace is at the foundation saying that you've got to cultivate inner peace on a daily basis and quiet meditative moments. Focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily. I think somebody's concerned about cash flow. Um, but in, in the process there, they're cutting out uh, the flow of love, okay? And love is God's currency. Um, don't know whose message this is, but wow. Uh, all right. Dearest you, everything is in divine order, even chaos. Even in chaos, there is order. And we are always in awe of this. For you, though, on your human journey things can get disorganized in your mind and physical reality. You need to get rid of the clutter, whether it be too many stories in your mind, too many what ifs, or fearful thoughts of the past or future. Instead, focus on the now. Empty your mind, clean your house, and throw out any object that tells you an uncomfortable story. Discern what you have sort, purge, clear, organize. We want you to have space to fill with something better. Spirit loves a vacuum as it gives space for brilliant new energy. Let go of what is not serving you and give order to re what remains. See them and know their value. Your soul needs organization in order to keep your connection to us and spirit free of distractions. You are so adored by so many. We hope you really know that. All right. I honestly feel from that message, there is an issue with maybe clutter and distractions in your life are disrupting your connection to the divine. And as a matter of fact, I know a cancer who has I've been helping get organized and has got a lot of noise going on with the TV 24 seven. And I'm like, Oh my God, how do you get anything done? It's so distracting, you know? And so, um, there's just, there's been stuff everywhere, right? So if that is you as well, maybe shut the TV off. It is, it is a distraction. It is scattering your energy. Um, start really spending time with spirit and connecting to what it is you need to um, engage in energetically. Um, and I feel like it's more of making space for the next thing, right? Going back to that, that King of Wands that popped out from the get-go where you're just wanting to get forward movement on something. Um, you want to take a leadership role, all steam, you know, full steam ahead on that, but maybe getting some kind of blockage in some respect. Well, um, this is about you making, making space for it. Okay. So I hope that helps. And, um, we are going to get on to Scorpio. <laughs> All right, Scorpio. Oh my gosh, how are you doing, Scorpio? We made it, we made it. <laughs> we made it through the eclipses. All these darn eclipses in Scorpio and Taurus this year. We made it all alive, right? And I say we because I'm a Taurus rising. 
so I definitely am feeling it, right? When you're getting triggered, I'm getting triggered. We're in this together. Um, but for you with this full moon right now, this is hitting your eighth house, which is very scorpionic. Oh my gosh, and I just saw that six of pentacles pop up, which is about give and take and shared resources. And with the two of chalices, maybe somebody near and dear to you, possibly a wa another water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but I'm also seeing possibly message, message of love maybe coming in, okay? Message of love possibly coming in from a loved one. And it could be a very generous one, all right? Or just simply talking about the give and take in this relationship. Um, somebody that you definitely have an emotional, intimate bond with, and you maybe share resources with this person. Um, maybe talking about security and trust issues, all right? Developing more intimacy with that person. What is it that you need in this relationship to feel more safe and secure? And it might bring up issues of your sex life, your financial life, right? Because when we're talking about eighth house, we're talking about all the really super private stuff that goes beyond behind closed doors, sex, death, taxes. It's a number of things, okay? But let's see what the cards are showing you for Scorpio. Oh my goodness. Ooh. All right, I've seen a lot of devil cards in my day. I'm just gonna say that, but this one, when I flipped it, I ain't gonna lie to you. He, I saw him loud and clear. What in the heck is going on? Like, stop the scene, cut the scene, stop, stop the scene right there is kind of my feeling like, hold up, wait a second. I gotta get dig deeper into this. All right, what in the world is going on? I'm gonna pull this just for you, Scorpio. What is this toxicity? What is this toxicity I'm pulling from my shadow deck? Because I have that in a foundational placement and the way I saw it, somebody's gone cold. Somebody's gone really cold in a relationship, okay? Very distant, very distant. And it might be a marriage partner or somebody that you share resources with, somebody that maybe you've shared a lot of intimacy with. Um, there's irresponsibility here and it looks like you, there's some tie, some toxic tie to them. I'm very sorry, okay? Let's go deeper. What are your beliefs about this situation? I see you withdrawn, okay? What's the, what are the facts? Well, uh, there's a truth, there's a moment of truth here. There's a clarity, okay, about something. And somebody might have spoken their truth. I'm just gonna be straight with you. I'm gonna clarify that in a moment. What you've gotten confused on is um, perhaps that you got this. All right, I'm sorry, I hate to say it. Like this is the, I, I've got this. You know, I'm the single Miss Independent woman. Um, I don't know, I just heard, I don't need a man. Um, oh, but do you, do you, okay? Maybe you don't need a man, do you want a man? Do you want a man? I don't know, I don't know where I'm hearing this for somebody. This might also have to do with money and self-sufficiency, like I don't, I'm good, I don't need your money, I don't need your help, but wait a minute, do you, do you, okay? Um, clarity on this issue. You've got Queen of Wands. Um, I, I'm, I'm hearing that this, somebody's got a lot of gusto, particularly the feminine energy, a lot of gusto, like a lot of get up and gusto. I, and I never talk like that, so I don't know what that's for somebody. Um, I do see that there's a lot of um, boldness and confidence with um, this feminine energy here. But there might be more courage and confidence and determination 
then there is actual independence. Okay, like somebody's stepping up like there's a lot of passion, a lot of warmth here with this woman. Could be very, very feisty. And that's the truth. Um, but this queen, I don't know if she's self-sufficient. I don't know if she's independent or as independent and self-sufficient as she would like. Okay, there's something about security. Some of you, again, if this is about career and money in the workplace, it could be that you have a lot of passion and drive with what you do, but I don't know if you are being rewarded. There's not a clear reward for your work in the way that you would like, okay? That is for some of you. Your thoughts right now very conflicted. I think there's been, um, well, I'm getting a couple things. I'm getting that there have been some disagreements. I'm hearing family feuds, family feuds, and I'm not talking about the game show. Um, I'm also hearing that, uh, double mindedness that you, on, on one hand you think this, but on the other hand, you think that it's some conflicting I'm getting some illogic, some contradictory. And so it's almost like arguing with yourself is what I'm getting out of that, okay? Should I this or should I that? And your feelings, I think, wow, I mean, that's, you know, 10 of Pentacles. Like, I think that you just want something very stable. Okay, I think that I, I don't really see feelings showing up very strong here. Can I say that? Some of you are just, you're about your money. You're about your family resources, your career, um, the retirement, you know, that type of thing. Um, and some of you want financial relief with um, maybe a property matter for some of you or... Um, money matters. I think you're coming across as very respectful, but I think in the past there's been some hostility about, oh, look at that. Look at this so Scorpio. Vengeful, spiteful. No, not sweet Scorpio would never, never get vengeance. <laughs> okay. It's in the past. I think it's in the past, but I think you're trying to look at what's coming up next. You've got a lot of curiosity about what now with your career. I honestly, it doesn't look very touchy feeling to me for your, um, you know, some of you may be dealing with feelings of powerlessness in your career. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to put that out there. And I think, you, you know, there's a big focus on what you're doing, um, either for your career or this could be family generational wealth. Um, you know, if there has been misappropriation of money, inheritance, things like that, they probably pissed you off, right? You probably want to get a piece of them, right? Get that stinger out. Um, but you might have felt like your hands were tied on the issue that you couldn't do anything about it. I think you remained respectful for the most part, but I think you're looking for some relief and I think you're the wheels are turning as to how can you get get this show on the road, right? Where's my money? Um, where I don't know why I'm hearing bitch better have my money. That's a that's a rough one. That's a rough one. Okay. Was there a contract involved here? Um, or some type of agreement, some type of verbal agreement that was made. And this is showing up. Tell me, oh my goodness, what a mess. Yeah, it's a lot of money, okay? This could be about an inheritance. I'm not going to lie to you, all right? This could be about an estate, an inheritance, a will. There could have been a, a will, um, probate, something to that extent. Um, there's some type of agreement. 
if it is not that it is um somebody maybe agreed to some type of work or shared resource arrangement involving a lot of money a lot of resources anything more can you tell me more more about this I'm feeling like to go to a totally different deck. Tell me more about this Ace of Swords. Tell me more about this Ace of Swords. Tell me more about this Ace. It's like not coming out. You need to see the truth. Some of you need to go look back over a contract or an agreement or paperwork. Okay, there's a lot of money. There it is. It's been some kind of, oh, uh, some kind of, oh, God. Might have been, well, could, yeah, be involving you, Water, Sun, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But, um, there seems to be a lot of blocked emotions here. And there has been a fallout, a stalemate, and it maybe is over integrity issues. And the truth of the matter, I'm getting something. The truth of the matter is... Somebody didn't want to see it or feel it or do anything about it. There is an integrity issue. Why things didn't move forward. Why things fell out. Okay. And that's got you in a state of you believe you need to pull back, withdraw, maybe get some advice on a situation. Just tell me more about this Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Please tell me more about this Nine of Pentacles. Please tell me more. Well, this could be how you are. I don't know. This is like, are you being seen as single or alone in your neighborhood community people around you that you interface with presenting yourself coming across as though you're single you're independent but you're really not um feeling alone even though you are in a you are surrounded with a community of people. You've got a lot of people around you, yet you don't feel, yet you feel alone. Okay, this is odd. Tell me more about this. Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands. Well, we got that much, main female probably your energy money money we're back again at this property issue unexpected money should have maybe come into you as a as a feminine or if you're a masculine uh, Scorpio perhaps involving this feminine the main woman in your life um, possibly a family member but it seems like a property issue house home family um, bringing in some unexpected income, okay? You might be seen in the community as you are alone, okay? But you're not. Um, or that you're self-sufficient, but you're not, okay? Like, people view you this way. I do see you standing up very boldly and strongly, and you do have um, money being exchanged over property, housing, home, family. Why are you conflicted within yourself? Why is Scorpio conflicted? This has to do with the health situation. Uh, maybe what somebody was doing to get recognized with their work, with their career, has put them in a state of bad health. They are now recognizing um, 
and, I, and I'm getting the conflict is maybe what I needed to do to get recognition with my work is now, I don't feel good about it. Or what I needed to do to heal myself, to heal, to get in a better situation physically, financially, is in conflict with what I need to do to get recognized and get honored. There's some conflict of how do I heal this situation? It's almost like, you, you know, you're fixing one problem creates another. Damned if you do, damned if you don't type of vibe that is causing you some inner turmoil. And again, I'm going to go back to that. There might be a Capricorn that is relevant, but it's, it's a very, this is a very, you're, you're dealing with some toxic energies here. Okay. Um, that are in the spirit realm that are possibly out of your control. Yes. For some of you, it might be addictions. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to pin it on like, bl let's blame the devil. Right. You know? Uh, the devil, I'm hearing in excess, devil inside, devil inside, every single one of us, the devil inside. So there might be some shadow aspect of yourself where you are sabotaging yourself. You're getting in your own way. That might be the case with addictions or soul ties or some kind of toxic attachment that you have or control issues. Um, but Again, this could be a toxic boss, toxic workplace, toxic spouse, you know, um, things that are really out of your control. You have to take it how it applies. And with this in your eighth house, I mean, I ain't going to lie. Eighth house is the underworld. It's the demonic realm. Some of you are actually dealing with demonic spiritual warfare right now. And you need to, sweet Jew, I am going to do it right now. This is just for you. Because I mean, Spirit, I'm going to say we are going to cast this out in Jesus' name. We have got to get rid of this. Scorpio has got to purge, release, release any, any kind of oppression. demonic entities coming from the other side. Did I knock that devil off of Scorpio's back? Come on now. We have got to purge it. Look, Scorpio, you need to, on this full moon in Gemini, do a purge session. Do a release session. You know, just because of this right here, I'm going to tell you, I'm so on fire about this shit right here, okay? This devil on my table. I'm so moved by this that I'm probably going to release this first. I'm going to put the water signs out first, okay? Because I want you to get this tonight. I want you to do as soon as possible. If you watch this the day after on the 8th, right? Do it as soon as possible. You need to set time aside to renounce, renounce this toxicity in your life. Cut ties with it. Call that devil out for what it is. Say, I rebuke you. I deny you access to my life. I take dominion over my life. You have no authority here. You take no residence here, okay? That's what you got to do. Get it the heck on out. All right? Let's see what Spirit is telling you you need to release. What? The Scorpio need to release stress. Take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to center. Surrender negative thinking. You have control over your thoughts. When negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmations. Well, you know, I ain't going to lie. I'm not a fan of that card. I, I mean... 
I would take it out of the deck, but I don't believe in stacking my decks like that. You know, I, I have whole whole decks, right? I don't, but it's there, so let's let's talk about it. I, you know, this is going to be tough advice for you to take because you got a lot of negative negativity going on. How, how do we not talk about that? It's just front and center, and this might have to be with what you have been working so hard on. Some of you. It might be a work related, I'm just gonna tell you, a flash in the pan, workplace romance for some of you. Um, but in order to let go of this negative thinking, I mean, you're going to have to ask yourself, where is this coming from, okay? How did I get here? Where do I want to go with this? And maybe adopt some more constructive beliefs, all right? Because this is a lot of destruction here. All right, your postcard from Spirit is saying now is one of those times you're being asked to add some distance. Take a step back and do nothing but observe. Don't worry about how long it will take to regroup. Just know it's temporary and actually an opportunity to take a breath. Slow down and look at how far you've come. Decisions for the highest good are made when you have clarity. I told you what the clarity is. Your passions, your warmth, right? Um, when you step into the role of observer, no, let me back that up. Decisions for the highest good are made when you have clarity, which comes from being open to information from both the intellect and the intuition. When you step back into the role of observer, it's as if you turn on a switch that allows your soul to be an essential part of the information gathering and decision making process. In this way, you can approach things from a more neutral and non-judgmental place. We know you'll make the right choice. Trust us when we say, now is not the time to get too close to the fray. Step back now, you will be glad you did. Love you. I feel like some of you are in the thick of some things that are, I'm hearing they're ensnaring you. They are ensnaring you, okay? And some of you, your only way is you just keep hammering, hammering, hammering at it. And you need to like, I'm, I just heard knock it off, okay? You need to knock something off. My first go-to is this, knock this off, all right? Whatever that is, you know what that double card represents for you. And you need to shake that shit off okay um scorpio you know i feel for you because um yeah maybe there's a lot of money on the line with this situation um and yes maybe there's a lot of negativity going on that rightly has you processing some not so good things in your life that you really need to at the, you can't just right we can't just auto magically la 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 you know make it go away um you gotta deal with it you gotta purge it um and i think that now is the time for you to do that hard as it is I hope that this reading has given you some clarity. Like I said, please, as soon as you can, set some time aside to release with this full moon. Uh, I think that's going to be powerful because you know what? We got a new beginnings coming up. This is the good news. We're going to leave it on a good note. On December 23rd, we have a new moon in Capricorn. <laughs> All right, so we all work that double instead of having that double working us, right? Keep your chin up, keep it moving, stay encouraged, okay? And let's move on to Pisces, okay? Pisces, 
This full moon is hitting your fourth house of home, family, sense of belonging. So maybe something with your home life is, or your private life is being illuminated right now. Um, and maybe the spotlight is on your public life, your career, okay? Um, because that's opposing, right? There's some kind of dichotomy going on between public and private life, home life versus career, right? But um, security issues as well getting re really illuminating. Um, but there's something that perhaps you're needing to strike the right balance between these two contrasting energies in your life, these two areas of life. Maybe um, commitments, personal versus professional commitments, okay? And maybe looking at setting some new boundaries, um, maybe in your home life. Um, or either area maybe could be a, a really good step in the right direction. But some of you are dealing with frustrations, right? I am personally right now, frustrations. I'm working from home, what I'm now calling home, which is quite frustrating um, for me because it's in a very small space. It's in a new space that I'm getting acclimated to and I don't know how long I'll be here, right? This is temporary. Um, but this squeeze has been brought on by squeezes going on in my 10th house, right? Which I don't know that you're too much experiencing. It depends on what's going on with your unique natal chart, right? I've got Saturn in my 10th house right now. And that may or may not be your issue. Probably not for most of you. Just saying, I definitely am feeling this with you, but for more reasons than you know, okay? So there is perhaps something you're having to release with a housing issue or, you know, maybe um, your idea of where you think you belong and you're just kind of having to surrender to spirit right now and open up to a different way, okay? Let's see what the cards have to say for Pisces. At the foundation, well, there we go with a new, uh, with a full card, which is about a new beginning for you, okay? And so some of you, maybe, you know, maybe this is a, um, a new start with a, a new home or uh, a new family situation. Um, maybe something happens suddenly um, or it soon will happen quite spontaneously out of left field. And you decide to take a leap of faith. You decide to take a chance on something. The sign of Aries might also be relevant. What you believe right now is that maybe, you know, this is what you gotta do to get some change in your life, okay? Some of you are definitely between locations, going from one location to another. Some of you are trying to make some changes in your home. You're having to adapt. Some of you, this is about resources, right? Part of my, um, Part of my housing issue is like, I, I wanna get my debts paid off um, over the next three months. So I have very much scaled back, scaled down, taken a leap of faith to focus instead on balancing out these um, financial situations um, and trying to negotiate for better options at, a, at another time, okay? The truth is, actually, this is fantastic. There's a lot of good um, money news coming in that, you know, and again, what you're doing right now, the way that you're kind of navigating these changes or the way that you're negotiating for better options is actually gonna bring about some good money news coming in, and I like that. That's really positive. This might also involve um, an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, possibly somebody younger, maybe a child, uh, if you have children. Um, for some of you, this is just simply a message coming in about a new financial opportunity. Some of you getting a job offer or some good money news. And, and if you don't hear a message from somebody about that, um, Spirit is downloading divine messages, giving you solid ideas about how to move your money situation forward. Now, where there has been some confusion is about perhaps some emotional connections in your life, loved ones, okay? The truth of this has to do with who you can partner and make plans with, okay? We're going to 
clarify that in a moment. But right now, your thoughts are very much about making progress with your life. And I think you want swift, forward movement in your life. Um, you might be thinking about putting a lot of communications out there, um, talking. Some of you want to move long distance. Um, some of you want things to really speed up for you, okay? And you're thinking about how do I get things to move forward? Um, your feelings, though, very conflicted, very internally conflicted, all right? And um, there, there's just some, and for some of you, it's not just internal, it's external as well. There's some kind of uh, battle of wills. Let's see what these conflicting emotions are about for Pisces, okay? Unsure, I think you've been uncertain in, about somebody in the past and um, you were lonely, you felt isolated and you are trying to come out of that. But there is a lot of shame about something that has happened or gone down, okay? There might have been, yes, a battle of wills that went on. Um, it could be a family dynamic because we are talking about fourth house of, you know, family. Um, if this was a group dynamic of family, I do think that um, somebody didn't feel confident with their decisions in the past. Um, they might have second guessed themselves about, you know, what direction should I take this? There might have been some isolation, um, somebody feeling like um, they were being isolated, again, because there was a misalignment of, of effort here with this five of wands, okay? Um, maybe, maybe pulled back from a group dynamic because of conflict, tension. Um, there was, has been perhaps some kind of strife going on that caused somebody to feel like they were alone in this and that they were being either, there, people were fighting them for what they wanted or people were just not working with them and collaborating with us. And so they felt alone in this dynamic and started feeling like, I don't, I don't know if I should do this. I don't know if I can feel confident in this. And there's a lot of shame about this of, um, why wasn't I worth you, you know, joining effort with me? Why, um, why wasn't there more grace given? Why was I left embarrassed over this? You know, this is somebody who's feeling like friendless, outed. They're not part of the in crowd, right? Somebody got outed here and they're like, yeah, I guess I can't really put my faith in that dynamic because I don't, I'm not being considered worthy of it. And it, it was quite an embarrassment, I think, to this person. Um, that's rough. Some of you right now are sorting through these feelings of um, people not adding value or you feeling that they didn't add value um, which caused you to maybe doubt yourself and your direction and maybe left you feeling um, embarrassed or humiliated in some respect okay let's find out what this good money news is that's going to be coming in for you <laughs> it's around Christmas time somebody might give you a gift and it might have to do with something that you've done for work in the past it might be related to your occupation or a work a work arrangement okay somebody you worked with in the past or something you did for work in the past a line of work I should say and it looks like somebody is going to come in um, this could also be somebody that perhaps you dated that maybe um, you met them on the job or you met them at their place of employment or they met you at your place of employment. There could be some gift or offering around Christmas time. Uh, some, that's actually quite lovely. I am digging that, okay? Let's figure out what is the truth of this situation. What is the truth of this situation that you have had where you were 
I'm being told to go to the confusion. Let's talk about that first. Why was there... If I can get the right deck. What is the confusion? I think there's an emotional connection here with somebody, but I'm hearing overestimated. There's that two of wands again. You try to partner and plan with somebody. Uh, possibly... Yes, your energy or another water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But I'm getting disagreements and, oh, somebody's got a headache. Somebody's got a headache. And somebody's got their back turned. I'm busy. I have to get to work. Oh, I have a headache and I have to work. Okay. Somebody might have been a headache to work with. And I'm hearing excuses and um, I'm even getting with her. No, no, I, I can't. I can't do this right now. I, I can't get involved. But Queen of Cups is very receptive. Okay, so this is a warning you you know this person comes very sweet and open and loving and intuitive and you maybe think you're going to partner and make plans with this person but i'm getting this oh but i oh i can't because i've got a headache and i gotta get to work on something else or there are headaches to work with i can't get involved because you're a headache to work with um there has also possibly been some disagreement as to how to work or what to work on. I just heard excuses, excuses, excuses. Okay. So what's the truth of this situation? Well, I don't know. I'm getting the vibe. You try to partner and plan with somebody who just, you know... They're sweet, but there's just not a lot of substance to what they're offering. Okay, let's see what the cards say. Ace of Wands, Six of Wands, The Emperor, Devil card. The truth is, I don't think you need to partner with that person, okay? Whoever is, you can't get on the same page with them. It might have been mind games. Not never come in agreement about how to work together or what to work on. Uh, they're not the person you need to partner with for whatever reason. Um, I don't even want to begin to unpack what's going on with this individual. Okay, as to why, I think you have feelings for them. Whatever the reason, at the end of the day, you can't partner with them is the clear message. But who do you partner with? You need to partner with um, somebody who maybe is. Um, got a lot of fire in them okay could be an, an Aries seeing a lot of fire a lot of passion um, maybe Capricorn as well I'm seeing here um, getting to this person might involve traveling uh, some creative venture some new passionate beginning with this person where you have to travel to a distance to um, to get some acknowledgement or recognition but I do see um, this person is definitely going to give you the attention if you go the distance with them and you know get their they they're recognizing you okay they're offering you a new beginning I see this handout there might be a soul tie here um, this definitely could be a masculine energy that is, I'm getting a lot of yang energy, masculine energy. Um, this could be somebody who is kind of like, look at me, look at what I've got. They're going to give a helping hand. Might come with strings attached, like let's not lie here. Um, but this person wants attention. They're going to give you attention. They're going to give you a brand new start. They're going to be passionate about it. But again, I'm seeing they could be, it could involve travel, all right? And there might be a sexual tie with this person. You've either had sex with them or you might 
be having a sexual union with them, all right? Like some very Eros type of sexual energy coming off of this masculine. So just be aware, okay? Because if this is like, um, uh, you know, a business opportunity that somebody puts an offer out there to come travel with them, come do business with them, a creative venture with them, they might want sex. <laughs> Uh, just be aware of that. You don't have to do it. Just be aware. They want attention. They need attention. They like giving you attention. And for some of you, you're game on with that. Okay. Just be aware the devil is here. So I don't want to make this out to be, you know, a nasty thing, but it, I'm getting a vibe that this, this person has desires they have an agenda just do not be fooled they want something out of the exchange okay and maybe it's the same thing you want out of the exchange i don't know maybe you want a piece of that too that's that's your call you decide what is it that you want progress on that you're thinking about getting progress on pisces what is progress what does pisces think about getting progress on Please show me for Pisces. Pisces. You want a new beginning, okay? And it might have to do with your children. I'm going to say it. We're going back to fourth house, home life, home, family, sense of belonging. Some of you want to travel and get a new beginning, a new start. And I saw it there. The truth is, you have the opportunity to partner and plan with somebody who's going to masculine energy who is going to give you an opportunity for a fresh new start. There's something with distance and travel related, okay? Um, anything else? Anything else? Uh, I'm being told to see what you need to let go of and release right now. Addictions, okay? Whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, overworking, take action and begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. Well, I did see it there and it's surrounding this masculine energy, okay? So if that's not you, I mean, it could be, it could be relationship addiction here, all right? It could be um, relationship to sex. Somebody's got a porn addiction, a sex addiction. Um, Take it however it applies. If it is not you, it might be this masculine energy because I'm seeing it more around the masculine that and that could be a boss, a father figure, a husband. Um, this is very boss energy, okay? Somebody in a leadership role might be an entrepreneur, definitely entrepreneur type energy. Um, or they're in a they're in a leadership role in, in a company like a CEO type of they have subordinates okay they have people under them um, they might be the ones that have addictions so again be careful of getting around people who have addictions surrender resentments holding on to resentments only poisons you try forgive try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward towards positive situations in life so i am seeing that in terms of you actually if there is some toxicity uh in you it might be resentments toward a masculine energy or the masculine energy has some kind of resentment and again you know this be aware of that 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 needs to that needs to get healed okay moving on from the past is what I'm hearing your postcard from spirit reads dear you uncertainty is the new normal for the whole world things are changing at a rapid pace and the old ways we've once trusted are no longer reliable but leaving the familiar behind can be a good thing. Whether you are pushed to step into the unknown 
you are pulled forward into discovering new possibilities that have been hidden in plain sight. Check with your higher power. Your soul knows better than your small self. Have faith in the support of a higher power and the infinite potential for your life. Right now, the advice we have for you is this. Try something new. Do something different. You won't know how it feels, what it looks like, or what the outcome will be if you do not take that first step into the unknown and experience the unfamiliarity. You'll be so glad you did because the treasure will appear. We're so proud of you for being brave. You are so loved and supported. Holy crap, that's a synchronicity of these two cards here that this is taking. Okay, so I just realized that the video cut off and I started <laughs> clearing the deck already. I wanted to say that that message from Spirit is confirmation that you gotta take a leap of faith, right? With that full card at the foundation and with um, the Ace of Wands, that was confirmation that you have a new beginning, a new start on the table, uh, but you gotta take that leap of faith. And some of you have already done it. I know I relate to it, I've already done it. And so Spirit is really saying bravo, thanks you know, for being brave, because this is exactly where you need to be positioned. All right, that's all I've got for now. Thanks for watching, wishing you the best, be blessed.